I am talking to the the wonderful group El Devo. How you guys doing? Hi there. How are you? How are you all doing? Okay, great. Can I get some names? Who do I have in the studio with me today? I'm David. Sebastian. Carlos. Urs. Oh, oh yeah, here we are, all four of us. All right, I just, this is my, my first four-way. <laughs> we'll put it like that. <laughs> Shouldn't it be a five-way, though? Five-way, including yeah. you. No, oh, my oh. goodness. Is it, we're going to have a five-star. Uh, getting romantic. <laughs> well, you guys are wonderful. I got a chance to see your preview uh, performance. You guys are exceptionally talented. Oh, that's Thanks. very sweet. Ah, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you very thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. We're right now very happy because we, we're releasing this fantastic album, Amor y Pasión, and we're going to have 12 amazing Latin ballads, and also we're going to be, we have mambos, we have really sexy songs, and, and, and yeah, we're really happy, I mean, to be here, to be on tour afterwards. It's going to be next year, so, so really thrilled. Okay, I want to let my audience know that we have a uh, American, a Spanish, a French, and a Swiss performer all together that's coming together in this great new tour and the album. When does the tour start? If I could ask Boris, I like his voice. Uh, the American tour is going to start mid-September. Uh, it's going to take us through to mid-November. We play At the moment, we've got like 38 shows booked. We're going to play in Dallas itself, but we're also going to be in Houston. Uh, we're going to be in St. Uh, St. San Antonio as well. So uh, quite a few shows in Texas. We're looking forward to that. Always great playing in Texas. We love it. Okay. If I don't remember everybody's name, you just chime in. Okay, Carlos, tell me, uh, what is the best thing about this new album? Well, the best thing about this new album is, of course, the, uh, the songs. As I said before, we, uh, when we went to the studio, we, we were trying a lot of songs. And it was a very huge list. And from 150 songs, we just chose 12 of the best ones. And as I said, we have very really famous ones like like Besa de Mucho. We have tangos. We have we have also a song from the, uh, from from Beethoven, the Ninth Symphony, uh, called uh, "Ode to Joy," and and that's the most the most operatic one of of those twelve songs. But the other one, the really sexy, with a lot of movements, a lot of things, and a lot of rhythms that we're going to be dancing all over the place with you, okay. if you want. Okay, and tell me where you're from, Carlos. I'm from Spain, Madrid. Oh, the language of love. I love that. The language of love, darling. Hello, how are you doing? My name? <laughs> yeah, my phone number is 12, 10, 6, 7, 10. And next to you, David. David, you're on tour. You're on tour with these other handsome guys. How, how hard is that? Uh, it's, it's not so bad. You know, it's... Um, could be worse. <laughs> could yeah. be worse. Could be a lot worse. They're, they're really actually... You know, we first got together 11 years ago, and we didn't know each other at all. We were basically pulled together into a studio and handed a bunch of songs and said, you know, make something we can all be proud of. And here we are 11 years on, five world tours, seven albums. We're, <laughs> we're like family anymore. It's, it's really good times. Okay, so I've, and I talked to Carlos, I talked to David Boris. Who else am I missing? I'm so sorry. Sebastian. Sebastian. That's okay. Sebastian. Okay, That's I heard that Simon Cowell brought you guys together is that true yeah totally it definitely opened some doors for us originally when he had the idea of uh doing this sort of uh, crossover act um, but it's a bit of a history now you know it's been 12 years we sort of uh work passionately about our on a record and on tours um it's been a really great collaboration but it's amazing how you know we just over the years got to know each other and wanted to build always the best we're very much in control of our own boat. We have a big personality. Okay, Sebastian, where are you from? I'm from France originally, but I live in, in America. In oh, you, the greatest place on the planet. What can I say? Indeed. Okay. Well, Dallas is a pretty good place, too, you know, I must say. It is. It's a whole nother planet. You guys are, are, are doing something, and you guys are men, but you know, male groups are really, really hard to do in America. How do you do this? This is a real hard thing to do, they say. Girl groups, no problem, but male groups are really hard. <laughs> well, I think uh, first and foremost is our, um, our love for the music and our full commitment to always giving 110% at every step of the, of the journey. And, you know, when, in the very beginning when we put our first album out, it was, uh, it was a complete collaboration between the four of us. And it was about choosing amazing songs and just doing our best. 
and it translated. You know, we, we released the album and it went to number one. And then, you know, it was like we couldn't just rest on that. We couldn't take it as an assumption that it was just going to go after that. We had to do it every step of the way, give 100% on every tour, mm. on every album. And people respond to that. They like quality and they like passion. And that's what we give. That is so very true. Well, I can't wait to get my own copy because I am a total Beethoven. I have two kids who play violin. They're out of college oh. now. But I wow. love Beethoven. That is my favorite. And you guys said you had that on the album. Yeah, that's true. That's actually very interesting because obviously it's the least Latin song on this album. But it's been a very, very big hit back in the 70s. And there was a Spanish rock singer. I forgot his name, Carlos. Uh, Miguel Rios. Uh, Miguel Rios. He put lyrics on that end theme of that Ninth Symphony uh, of Beethoven, uh, from Beethoven. And he actually turned it into a rock song at the time. So we've taken that again and we sing it in Spanish. And as Carlos said earlier, it's kind of the most operatic song we have on this album. I think it's really, it's really cool. It's oh. just been a big adventure to record something like that and put it on the album with the other Latin tracks. Where are you guys calling me from today? Can somebody tell me where you guys are today? We're in yeah. London, but no. unfortunately, we've just been given the cue. We actually have the next interview coming right on the heels of this, so unfortunately, <laughs> we have to say goodbye. I know we have to go. I want to thank you so much. And where are you going to send my audience to get your CD real quick? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, for the audience, if you still believe in love and you are still believe in romanticism, just go and buy our records because you're going to have the best time ever having a beautiful dinner with your beloved uh, woman or guy, doesn't matter. And um, here we are for all of you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Carlos, thank you. David, Boris, and Sebastian. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.